Hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. After everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet, and I found something strange. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you, I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. You're finally here! Remember me? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only, for some reason, she returned us to your world instead of ours. Anyway, I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but... I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it too, with enough room for Dooley, of course. It's hard work, but I sleep soundly every night. I'm finally my own man, and I... I wouldn't change it for the world. I know! I can't believe my luck either! But we're engaged and living together. We're planning to get married next spring. If you're gonna be around, we'd love to see you there. Of course, there's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you, so you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. Oh, hello. You're here. It's lovely to finally meet you. Galerius told me all about you. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. I'm just teasing. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. Galerius and I are engaged and expecting. We've just bought a lovely villa in the countryside, with room for a large family, and Dooley too, of course. It feels like the world has just opened up for us. There's so much to learn, and so many more possibilities for our children than we ever imagined. We're just so thankful for what you did for us. For all of us. Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere, if you'd like to ask her yourself. See you at the wedding, I hope. Hello, I'm Dooley. Galerius said you're very nice and a big helper. Thank you for getting us out of the bad place. I didn't like it. I live at Galerius and e Equitia's house. They look after me now and help me remember when I forget things, like brushing my teeth. Bye bye. You're... Hi there. You're the Oracle, right? Oh, of course. Sorry. And I never got a chance to thank you for telling Galerius how to save my life. And of course, getting me and all of us out of a terrible situation. Oh, I barely recognize myself. I'm living in a house share in London with my wonderful girlfriend. And I'm studying English at university. Eventually, I want to travel the world and write about it. Turns out, it's about 30 times bigger than the Roman Empire ever was. Did you know there are entire continents Rome never knew existed? And you can travel almost anywhere in an aircraft, which is rather like flying on a Pegasus, but much more comfortable. Oh, sorry, you already know all that, of course. I'm just so excited. There's so much to see and learn and write about. I have noticed people from your time have no idea how fortunate they are. I hope to change that. One day. Last I heard, Maliolus kept insisting he was the last rightful ruler of the Roman Empire and wound up being committed to a psychiatric hospital. As for Claudia, she was always so viciously unhappy. 
Someone said she'd blown all her money on wine, trying to drink herself back to the underworld. After the horrific way they treated Ulpius and me, I can't help feeling a sense of... What's that German word? Schadenfreude? Thank you. You're very kind. Ugh. Someone told me she was boasting about getting her claws into some rich prince, and how she was going to be living the high life from now on. Even in your time, life still isn't fair. Apparently, he'd proposed before they'd even met. And last I heard, she'd bought herself a first-class one-way ticket to join him in some exotic place called... What was it? Nigeria? Some people have all the luck. Well, you are the Oracle. So I suppose I'll take your word for it. Huh. I feel better already. Thank you. You too! If you're ever in London, let me know. We can go to bars and drink wine and listen to the stories of the nine million people who live there. I hope so. You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Lucy is fine. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. If the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave us alone. Speaking of which, I wanted to say thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them off. So... I'm studying to get into medical school. As much as I resented the responsibility of keeping everyone in the city alive, when it ended, I realized I missed it. So I guess I'll just keep saving the world, if begrudgingly, one patient at a time. You too. Don't be a stranger. Hey. Hi there, I'm Horatius. I understand we have you to thank for giving us a second chance at life. And reuniting Santilla with us as well. So, thank you. I'm living up north and studying in the military academy in Modena. I'm going to be an officer one day. The world's changed a lot. But some things stay the same. Would you believe we're still studying military tactics from my time? Alexander the Great, Caesar, Hannibal Barker. Still. I have to keep challenging myself to let go of old ways of thinking and embrace the new. As Seneca wrote, the ones who pioneered our paths aren't our masters, but our guides. Ah, oh, you remembered that. Thank you. I grieved for a time, but that's done. In the words of Epictetus, as those who rode behind triumphant generals remind them they are mortal, Remind yourself, your precious one isn't one of your possessions, but something given for now, not forever. Thanks. Oh, and I don't know if you've heard, but a few of us are going for drinks later. It'd be nice to, um, chat with you some more. Great. See you at drinks later, I hope. I take it you're the Oracle. Thanks for coming. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. I didn't want to be associated with Sentius after what happened. I'm not sure if you heard, but after you drove Pluto off, Proserpina emerged from the Great Temple. She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the Upper Cistern all that time. But he's been dealt with. He's... Uh, you know what? The important thing is, we'll never see him again. Anything I want. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. I can go wherever and do whatever I please. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things for me, because it's just awful out there. Barbarians everywhere. He's still there, all alone. The last golden statue in the underworld. Trapped in a metal shell, slowly losing his mind until the end of time. Eternal torment. Just what he deserves, if you ask me. Meh. 
I try not to think about him at all. You too. See you around. I take it you're the oracle everybody's talking about. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. We have. I'm sorry, I don't remember. In any case, I'm Philip. I never thought I'd leave that cave, let alone the city. And now I'm living in the 21st century. What a time to be alive. And it seems I have your catabasis to thank for it. I'm working as a consultant to the Faculty of Classics at Cambridge University, helping fill the odd gap in their knowledge. Not that I need the money, but I do love being around enlightened minds again. My sincere thanks once again. Hello. Greetings. You must be the legendary Oracle. It is a sincere privilege to finally make your acquaintance. I am Georgius. I am told we have you to thank for freeing us from Hades. And for that, I am most grateful. I am reacquainting myself with Greece. It has changed so much over the last 2,000 years, I barely recognize it. This is at once heartbreaking and thrilling. Perhaps one day, once I have seen all of this new Greece and sampled her delights, I will settle down in Sandorini in a villa overlooking the Azure Aegean Sea. I hope you will join me there and regale me with the story of how you faced off against the fearsome god of the underworld and won. You too, my friend. You're... the one we've been waiting for. I'm Fabia. I wanted to say thanks for sending Galerius to save my life. I don't know how you knew, but I would have been crushed by that shrine for sure. I'm just so happy to be here, with you and everyone, together again, even if it's just for one more night. Well, it's not like I have to work with all the silver Karen gave me, so I just do what makes me happy. Mostly that means baking for my friends and looking at memes while binging TV shows in yoga pants. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Thank you. I really am. You too. Oh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. I've heard so much about you. I'm thankful that you're here. I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. But thank you for coming and for saving our lives. What you did was extraordinary, and I'll never forget it. I'm living in Rome again, in a charming little flat by the Tiber. I'm not far from my old place. Oh, and I'm training to be a crisis counselor. After you sent Galerius to persuade Ulpius not to take his own life, I was inspired. I just want to spend the rest of my life helping people, like you helped him. Thank you. That means a lot. And you. Good evening. Greetings. Thank you for your kind words and for liberating us all. In all the time I was in the underworld, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place so much like Elysium. I'm recovering. Octavia was kind enough to let me stay with her for a while, at least until I'm well enough to be independent again. Ah, you remember that. I'm a little tired of Ovid, but that's all right. I have 2,000 years worth of poetry to catch up on now. I'm already up to the 19th century and am quite enjoying the work of a fellow named Poe. I think I may have found a kindred spirit. Men have called me mad, but the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence.
and you. Farewell, friend. Some soiree, innit? Ah, oh, hello at last. You must be the oracle I've heard so much about. I'm Dacius. Listen, I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Thank you. Such a serving wit. I love it. I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. That's where the real money is now. In fact, I was hoping to ask your advice, you being the oracle and future seer and all that, on which stocks I should invest in next. I can't decide between fossil fuels, tobacco, gambling and arms. What would you recommend? Oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal, Dacius. I won't take no for an answer. Oh, of course, yeah. I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy up as much stock as I can tonight. I'm going to make a bloody fortune. <laughs> of course, don't let me keep you. Thanks again for the tips, my friend. It is an honor to finally meet you, Oracle. You know my name? Oh, of course. You are an Oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role in bringing us here. This world is truly wondrous. For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman. And I came to see there is nothing for me there. Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world. It is a great adventure, and I have met many people from many cultures. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Now, I think it is time I had some fun. Indeed. Thank you, Oracle. Nice to meet you. I go by Rufus now. New start, new name. Oh, and uh, thanks, by the way, for what you did. Sorry, I'm no good with the mushy stuff. I live with Virgil in Rotterdam, not far from where he grew up. It's very modern. Destroyed in the war, and it rebuilt itself. Good place for a fresh start. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my life yet. One adjustment at a time. You too. Look us up next time you're in the Netherlands. I'm... We're grateful. It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. And for helping Rufus come to terms with himself. He may come off a little gruff, but once you get past that, he's a lovely fellow. I'm studying to be an architect again and living with Rufus in our beautiful flat in Rotterdam, just down the river from Nijmegen, where I grew up. Of course, it's improved immensely since I was there last. Gleaming futuristic buildings and clean streets full of educated, accepting people. You natives of the 21st century have no idea how fortunate you are. You too, as Rufus said in his own laconic way. If you're ever in the Netherlands, we'd love to show you around. It's the least we could do. Hello there. Oh, I go by Gabriella now. I didn't want to be reminded of that monster every time I heard my own name. You didn't hear. My adoptive father, Sentius, locked me up in the upper cistern to stop me from escaping. 
After you drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me, and that monster got what was coming to him. Don't worry, nobody did. I'm living with Ulpius on a little vineyard in Umbria. It's even more wonderful than I dreamed it would be. I'm so grateful to you for making sure he's still with us. If you're ever passing through the region, I hope you'll come and visit us. You can try some of our very own wine. Thanks. You too. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. I'm Opius. I understand I have you to thank for sending Galerius to save my life. The way you just showed up out of the blue and stopped me from making a terrible mistake, I'll be forever in your debt. I'm living with Gabriella in Umbria. We finally bought the little vineyard we always dreamed of. It'll be a little while before we know what we're doing, but every day I look at her and this extraordinary new world with all its beauty and I think, what if I'd given up hope and missed out on all of this? So we're living each day to the fullest. And we end them all the same way, sitting together on our terrace with a glass of our wine, which the locals say is almost drinkable now, and watching the sunset over the rolling hillside. And I couldn't be happier. Thank you. I wouldn't be here without you. You too. There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, there's one more person I wanted to introduce you to. I think you know her. <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long time. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Proserpina, former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal, and now a regular mortal. I wanted to meet you in person, and thank you for freeing all these people, and me. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues, and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, I knew this generation, the final wave, would not survive. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him, and I rather hope it stays that way. Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. She wouldn't say what it was, but I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. I imagine we all will, one day. And you, although it feels like I've known you forever. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? Good, because they remember you. Well done, my friend. Of all the heroes who ever turned to the underworld and returned, none came close to achieving what you did. Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus, and Aeneas have been proud. 